Hello gamers and welcome to part one of the prison tutorial. I actually did a part zero and it's linked in the card right now if you want to see it. If you are building this on the Dream SMP seed, we did a lot of terrain and terraforming to prepare for the prison. So if you're building on the seed and you want that, part zero is linked up there. If you would like to see the entire prison, I actually made a cool YouTube video about it right here and is also linked up in the card right now. So if you want to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. In the description, I'm going to have a material list of whatever I build inside of this video only, not a material list for the entire prison because that would be a really long list. And also some quick disclaimers, this will not work on Bedrock Edition. I'd highly recommend having World Edit unless you're building this in survival. Good luck to you. I'd really appreciate it if you left a like on this video and if you're new around here, consider Consider subscribing i recreate the entire dream smp i have discord i'm very active there i talk about upcoming videos i stream stream announcements upload announcements i talk all the time if you're struggling with the prison tutorial if you want a fun place to hang out and finally i have created a download link for all channel members so regular and exclusive channel members can access the world download of the prison if you want to go explore it yourself look around see all the redstone for yourself i want to say a huge thank you to all the channel members that are on the screen right now you guys help me do what i love to do and let me put in the ridiculous amount of hours it takes to put these videos together and so just to clarify uh part zero was just for people building it in the seed and i was just doing all the terrain to get ready for the prison if you're just building the prison on any random world uh part one is the video for you so let's go ahead and get started with this small building down here all right let's go ahead and get going so if you have part zero done you probably have a little bit of obsidian in this spot if you're on the seed i'm going to go ahead and open up my coordinates so you can see 228 negative 902 right there and we are on the ocean level Right here, this is the back corner of the building. If you're not building this, um, like in the scene, you're just, you know, building this in whatever world. We're going to start from this back left corner of the smaller room. And this is going to be a total of 30. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that is 30 blocks long across right here. And now we're going to go to the right, a total of 6. That This corner is already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to turn this way, and this is a total of 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, just like that back one two over and now this front section is a total of 12 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and now we're going to go two back one back total of five two three four five turn to the right two three four five six we're basically copying the exact same shape over there and now we're just going to drag this connect it to the other side and this should be a total of 30 again uh, I'm not going to bother counting because I already know it's right. And then all we have to do is link up the back right here. And if you want to be extra careful and just double check, this back line should be a total of 24 like that. There we go. This is the outline of the small building. So we're going to go to the front right here and get our polished blackstone. And we're going to fill in the first two rows of the floor with polished blackstone. All right, this building has like an outer layer wall like this, and there's an inner layer wall. So we're going to go ahead and do the inner layer wall first, and it's a checkerboard pattern between uh, obsidian and polished blackstone. So staying one block away, we're going to place obsidian, polished blackstone, and obsidian, and we're going to make this a total of eight blocks tall. So I like to raise it up just like this. It's a pretty easy method switching back and forth in your hand and i think one block one two three four five six seven eight there you go and let's go ahead and do that on the other side except the pattern will be inverted so the bottom will have obsidian in the middle instead of polished there we go now to connect it in the middle we're going to leave a gap of four and then we can go ahead and just connect these checkerboard patterns to each other so your front wall should look just like this and now we're going to do this just all across the prison uh so we're going to continue our checkered pattern here and you'll you'll catch on pretty quick just leaving a one uh one row like border between the obsidian row and the grass row just just checkered behind all of this uh you can fill in the corner if you want as well like this and then you know it'll come come along the front here and then the side the back the other side all the way around so i'll see you when i have all of that done so some quick world edit tips for you uh just you know i thought might as well throw in some world edit tips what you can do for these bigger walls you can do just two rows of it like this, and if you're using World Edit, you can uh, take the two rows, and then I just like to stack it, you know, a certain number, five or six, and it'll just do the checkerboard pattern for you. Uh, it makes it, you know, a lot faster. Shortcuts like this will make our life a whole lot easier in the long run. There you go, you should have this checkered pattern, eight block tall wall that is one block away from the obsidian row here, and you have this entrance in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and grab out some blackstone walls real quick. And I'm going to place three along here and a total of four here and do that on the other side as well for a little cool railing. All right, now we're going to get out some chiseled polished blackstone 
And behind this wall in the corner, diagonal from the checkered wall, we're going to build up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be the same length. Then skip one, build up eight again, and then go to the other side and do the same thing. And then skip one, build it up again. Now we're going to get out some polished basalt, and we're going to build up four on either side of the doorway. Connect it along the top with more chiseled polished blackstone. Now up here, we're going to skip one, place three, skip two, place three, like that. Now what we can do, we're going to get some polished blackstone bricks, put one in the bottom on both of these spots, and then build a row on top of all of this right there. All right, perfect. Now we can get out some uh, polished blackstone slabs and put slabs on top of this. And now we're going to fill in the remaining space with iron bars. So get more um, chiseled polish, skip one, build up a full row, build a full row in the corner, and skip one, full row then skip one, and then build up two rows next to each other, uh, double stack them like that. The bottom gaps, we're going to put the bricks, and then on top of all of these, we're going to put more bricks like this, and then instead of filling it all in with bricks, we're going to get upside down uh, polished blacks on stairs, and put them there, and fill in our in-betweens with more iron bars, and then continue putting our slabs all the way on top of that. All right, moving along the back here, we're going to continue doing alternating rows of eight uh, so just keep alternating them here 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 and then once we get to the end we're gonna have one right here and then in the very corner we have a row of polished blackstone bricks like that so go ahead and raise all of these up all right go ahead and get your polished blackstone bricks out and fill in the in-betweens of the bottom row then we can do two up here and on top of all of these in between you're gonna fill them in with the upside down stairs. Then we can put our row of slabs on top of all of this outer wall, to the side, and then use our iron bars and fill in. Okay, that is that wall. Moving right along here, we're gonna get uh, the chisel polished blackstone, make a column here. I'm just gonna do the bottom row and then we can stack them up later. So we have one, skip one, another one, three, four, five, and then when we get to the middle, we're gonna leave a gap of two and then do the same to the other side, and then we have our, our row on the other corner. Now we can fill in our bottom with the bricks, as we've been doing. Put the bricks on the top, all right. And then we can get our upside down stairs, fill in the gaps with the upside down stairs. Put your slabs along the top, and fill in all of these columns with more iron bars. Boom, there's the back, and now the other sides, it is just an exact copy onto this side. Uh, while I'm pasting in these walls, it is worth noting that um, <clears throat> the you can't just like mirror the, everything we built on this side because it, it just doesn't work. The checkerboard pattern, you would mirror the checkerboard pattern and it's not equal on uh, side to side. So just be very careful of that. Don't don't mirror it um, because that won't work. But if you want, you can do this and then flip uh, north. AKA I found out it's north by looking at what direction. And then I can um, paste it over here. And there you go. That is... All of our exterior walls but don't paste the entire thing because uh, the checkerboard pattern will get messed up all right let's go ahead and start the interior of this building so we have this one row of the checkered right here and we want this to be a total of seven it's not counting the basalt the checkered this is one two three four five six seven should end with obsidian on the left side when we do it on the right side we will end with the uh, polish like this we're gonna make the these walls uh, checkered a total of four blocks tall if I did it right all right both of them are four blocks tall and we're gonna bring this row out as well with the checkered pattern and it should also be to the same length of seven now on either side of this we're gonna extend this to make it a total of three blocks uh, continuing the checkered of course so we're gonna bring this all the way up to the same height as this and do it on the other side as well and now we need to add two more rows on top of uh, this right here so the wall should look like this uh, we're going to continue around the room, get out your quartz pillars, and stack up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is a total of two blocks wide. One diagonal back, we're going to get quartz bricks and go a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make this two blocks tall. And then get out the uh, chiseled quartz block and do two rows of that. Then back to the bricks for two more rows. Turning this way, we're going to do... Um, two like this, continuing um, the same pattern we had on this wall. So two bricks, two chisel, two bricks. And then another quartz pillar of seven right here. And then on the top row only, we're going to do two bricks, two chiseled, two bricks, and then bring our pillar down 
again, and now we just need to do it on the other side of the room. So a little two by two of the bricks, then chiseled, then bricks, then bring this wall over nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Extend this all the way up with the pattern, and then put our two by seven pillar right here. We grab regular court stairs and wrap it around the bottom of the pillars that are sticking out uh, in these corners like that. Now we're going to get out obsidian and we're going to build our uh, portal, our portal frame right here to get into the actual prison like this. It's a four by four portal. Uh, we have a stone button right here on this wall. Uh, for convenience, let's go ahead and bring up all of these walls, one extra block like this with the same uh, pattern. Uh, it'll just make it easier to place all of the stairs in a second. There we go. So now we're going to get regular cord stairs uh, upside down and do like a trim along the ceiling all the way across. All right, let's go ahead and do the floor down here. So uh, along the hallway on either side, just wrap it around this wall and down here with the, uh, the polished black stone. Do that on the other side as well. And then what we can do, grab out obsidian and do three obsidian here and here. Now for looking at the room, like walking into the room and on the left side, Start the checkered pattern by placing one here, and then we can just alternate it every other way. And the middle two rows, we're going to dig out, let's just dig out the middle two rows for now, all the way to the portal, and all the way down here. We're going to place a terracotta in a very specific pattern in a second, but the rest of this we can go ahead and fill in with the checkered pattern of obsidian and the polished. And then on the other side, it is the opposite with obsidian starting there, and the checkered pattern um, continuing like this. So if that was a little confusing, this is what your floor should look like when the pattern is done. Alright, now we're going to get out the black glazed terracotta and place one here and then go like in a spin in a circle in front of it and you'll have the, this pattern like this. And now we're going to do that again right here. Now, if you want, I'm pretty sure the pattern is supposed to go uh, like just this same pattern all the way to the edge. And that's what we're going to do for now. And then the, the first one should just be like this. Now, if you want, you can keep it just like this, but if you want it to be really accurate, the pattern is actually messed up. So you see this gray circle, this one, and then halfway through the third one, we're gonna break these out and we're gonna break these out and like just place them all like this. I, I don't know how to explain that, but all four corner, all four of the dark gray corners should be in the bottom, bottom right when you're walking to the room. And then we're gonna break these two and then the pattern should go like that. So if you want to try and replicate that, that is what it looks like on the real Dream SMP. It is messed up on purpose, uh, but I, I, I think Sam intended for the pattern to go normally. All right, to do the ceiling, what we're going to do, looking at the portal, get out some quartz slabs and place uh, two quartz slabs and then one here in the corner. Do that on this corner as well. Now over here, we're going to place one quartz slab uh, in both of these spots. And then again, the little L shape right here. So you should have this in the ceiling. And now what we're going to do, when you're looking at the portal, if you're looking at the portal, and up in this top corner, we're going to start with a polished black stone, and then we're going to just alternate all the way across to the other side. And then the next row, continue the alternation pattern. It's a little confusing, but uh, it works out. Actually, let's just go ahead and fill in this entire top shape uh, with, with, the, um, with the pattern the checkerboard pattern that we have been doing. All right, there you go. So when you're looking at the room, if you're looking at the portal and look up that bottom, that bottom left corner should start with polished. And that is the checkerboard pattern in the ceiling. Now we're going to get out some redstone uh, lamps right here. Skip the first two then break out these middle two, then break out four, then four, then four, and then two again. Now we just need to turn them all on. So, I mean, if you want, you could just put redstone blocks, but if you want to be like efficient with resources, you could just do like a uh, redstone dust like that. And that will power it all, just however you want to do it. All right, for the middle of our portal here, we're going to place polished blackstone in all four corners of the portal, like this. Two dispensers in the bottom. And then we're going to get uh, smooth smooth quartz, not, not regular quartz, but smooth quartz this time, and put it here and here. And then we're going to do uh, a right side up and an upside down one, right side up and upside down, and then two upside down ones in the middle right here. And then for now, let's just go ahead and... Um, now we could, well, I guess we can put in our sticky pistons, put in the sticky pistons in that shape right there and our four blocks like this. Next thing we're going to do is build the hidden entrance hallway back here. So let's go ahead and break out these two blocks right here and place them right there with two sticky pistons behind that. Well, actually, let's go ahead and break these out first. Sorry. Uh, put a two by two of sticky pistons here then two right there and then put our blocks back. Let's go ahead and grab out um, our floor again, and we can continue the checkered pattern for an additional four, five blocks after this. That's one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then do two obsidian right here. 
and two obsidian back there and then a line across here all right so then we're going to make this a two by two of obsidian right next to the pillar and then do a two by two of barrels that should all be standing upright and if you want to know what the barrels are for usually i'm assuming sam puts uh ender pearls to fill up the stasis chambers uh again so continue the check-in pattern uh, with these two blocks here and then one more here and another one there this is the spot where our stasis chamber is going to go then we're going to have a block here break out these two and put a sticky piston back here this is going to um you know cut off uh, the water then continue our hallway and continue it back here all with obsidian of course and all of this with obsidian as well it should look like this so we're going to grab a pressure plate to open up the door and it goes on this piece of obsidian uh all right back here we can do two pieces of obsidian here to shut this off there's a stone button right here so you can just dig down i think one two three four five six seven usually works um you don't really need any lower than that it just needs to be low enough that you throw the pearl and doesn't like hit the bottom all the walls can be replaced with uh, obsidian like this and before we put the water in go ahead and break out either side of this replace this with obsidian as well and then fill all of this with water now we can waterlog all of this with our kelp and that's just because when they push the block out and back in the water needs to be on the sides so that the water on top uh continues flowing all right underneath this pressure plate let me just find a way that i can just see what's going on here stick underneath the pressure plate to go ahead and place some redstone uh let's go ahead and place obsidian on top of all of this uh, just a simple double piston extender we're gonna have this redstone repeater and pull it back one is this two ticks or one tick i don't know someone explained to me in the comments i don't know the ticks i should probably know that then we're gonna extend it over here uh put this this wall back bring it down and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a block here and down here with the redstone torch like this which activated it and then we can just feed our redstone we actually break out these blocks here we don't need them and we just need to feed it into that into that block like this so there we go it's not pretty but it gets the job done there we go our door should work just fine and uh just quickly i don't think i showed this but make sure that the checkered pattern continues under the sticky pistons and that you place two extra quartz bricks in that corner and there i go i can run out and they shut right behind me last thing we're going to do for this room right here we're not going to get to all of the redstone behind the portal in this video uh we'll do that at a later date we can just go ahead and fill in the entire ceiling to this place uh with the slabs and there we go that is our first room all done we have the interior here obviously the portal this button doesn't work yet um but we do have um part of this hallway done here all right there we go we are done with this building uh for now we'll come back and link up all the portals in this button and the other button uh, in the hidden room at a later point uh when we have the rest of the prison of course so for now i want to take a little break do a little detail uh what's supposed to sit on top of this land over here if you want it so we're going to grab out some grass blocks and do a little bit of terrain uh we're going to place two blocks here two blocks here and one right there we need to add an extra two blocks of grass right here and then starting from this point we can do one two three four five six seven eight oak logs behind this with some grass uh go to the third block in and add one two three four five six like that then go two back then four over one two three four and then actually a fifth one and then bring this out two and then one over sorry one over make this a total of three so it should look like that then over here we can get our oak logs back out place an oak log here and make this one two three four five like that this back corner will be five so it's one two three four five like this on the other side we'll have six so it's one two three four five six like that so we can connect the grass right there and fill this all in uh place an additional two over here and actually just drag a row all the way across and then do three here two back here leave a hole right there we're gonna need some dark oak planks put one here three here two here two back there and two on top of that obsidian now what we can do break out these three and then break out these two and these two like that actually we can replace this one right here place two dark oak planks on top of it one down there a crafting table next to it two furnaces stacked on top of it down here we can break out one two three get out a chest put a chest here double chest two single chests and also if you want to know how to do that without them connecting uh while i'm flying i'm holding shift if you're not flying you can also just hold shift all right um, back over here we have a double chest and another double chest on top of that skip to the third one place a grass 
and a crafting table next to it and then behind it right here a double chest another double chest on top of it two single chest one right here and one right here and a single chest here so we have this one single then a double next to it and then another double a white bed facing right there double chest here a chipped anvil right there almost done single chest next to that a double chest another double chest another double chest then one here and one more right there and that is the monstrosity that is sam's base while he was building this yeah i have no idea either but there you go there it is all right we are going to start the actual prison now um so we're gonna get diamond blocks and this is just a temporary block that i used to count because i think it's they're pretty easy to count um so we're gonna go diagonal to this piece of grass that's right here uh and of course if you didn't just build all of this mess which i'd recommend doing it completes the build a little bit more um, but if you're just wanting to know how far away the prison is from this building, starting right here on this obsidian, and also I'm on the left middle block, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, it's the 11th block away from that building. Hope that helps. So this one diamond block right here, which is diagonal to this grass, we're going to place 27 diamond blocks. 27. Make sure you get this number correct. You do not want to screw up the placement of the entire prison. So, uh, we're going to place polished blackstone bricks here. One over, and then uh, two over on this side. The thing is, should be centered up with that building. Make sure you have it centered up. This one right here should be uh, 190, negative 913. And let me check. That is correct. So let's double up this row, and we can get rid of our diamonds now. We're going to place an extra four on this side, and four on this side. And now from here, I'm only going to build the left side, the entire left side, and then you on your own will build the entire right side. Hopefully that makes sense. It is completely symmetrical so it shouldn't be that crazy so we had this block right here this block and this is going to be 43 there we go that should be 43 so we're going to add a 44th add an extra and then add two out in front of that now this one right here should be one of 10 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're going to go diagonal to that and place 10 again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and if you want to check to make sure your beach is all lined up uh, from this point you should be one two three four five blocks away from your beach uh in that spot in case you're curious for now we're going to go a total of four back two three uh four and we're going to leave it all right on this point right here the the start of that 43 we did i'm going to make this a total of 16 so that's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and the seventeenth one. I'm going to put polished blackstone on top of that. I'm going to skip two and place one. Do that a total of five times. That's one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. We're gonna double up and then repeat. Do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, then double up. Then one more time. One, two, three, and then by the third one. We're going to have to double up on purpose because we're going to hit the wall right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to raise all of these an additional 14 like that and then get my polished blackstone and then we can drag a row connecting all of these. And on our little tower in the corner here, raise this all the way up with the bricks all the way to the same height and then one lower than that to there. Now we're going to get out the polish, put a polish on top of that, and on top of that, and we'll just leave it like that for now. Next step, I'm going to just take this entire wall that we have here, uh, but not the top row, and I'm going to stack this uh, an additional, make it like two blocks thick, if that makes sense. Um, just entirely stack them up. I'm going to get out some more obsidian, and now we're going to build our underwall like we did over there. So if we're looking at this bottom left corner of this gap, this one right here should be obsidian in this bottom corner. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to like alternate the pattern uh, one block away from the top here. So I'm going to stop right there. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it two blocks thick and I'm going to world edit it. But of course, if you're not using world edit, you're just going to need to make this giant obsidian and polished blackstone wall go all the way um, into the middle over here. And then to get more polished blackstone bricks and layered up right there and then put... Uh, two rows of the polished blackstone bricks on top of all of this additional details We're gonna get polished blackstone stairs and uh, the bricks for the brick version and the polished regular version and in this top left corner We're gonna start with the uh, the brick version uh, Just make an archway not like both of them But just the front block only and then just alternate which kind of stair you're using 
uh, in every single gap. Uh, just a little tiny detail. All right, our next row up here, I went ahead and built it because it's a little confusing. We're going to have the, the poli or chiseled polished blackstone, these names, oh my gosh. Uh, then the brick, skip two, brick, skip two, two bricks, skip two, a brick, skip two, brick, two polished, and a brick, skip two, and one brick, skip two, two bricks, skip two, one brick, skip two, one brick, two polished, one brick, skip two, one brick, skip two, two bricks, then skip two. And then we have this one polished right here. And let's go ahead and build an extra three back like that. And uh, this there will be another skip two and another one right here. But we're just one block higher now. And then a skip one. And then this will be our corner tower again. Uh, this will make a lot more sense in a second. Let's put a polished blackstone diagonal to this right here. And fill in this and put a brick right there. It'll make more sense in a second. So all of these, this is one. We need these to all be stacked up. A total of 14 so the world edit command I'll use is uh, stack 13 because we already have one row so there you go there should be a total of 14 blocks tall now now we're gonna get the polished out and we're gonna draw a line of polished and then I think we need to, to bring those two up as well and connect it to here uh, but this one we don't need to connect to this one this this row will keep going up because it's the center uh, the middle column Let's go ahead and take all of this and stack it back one but not not this we do not want to stack uh, the chiseled blackstone back as well so i'm just going to stack uh, one so it's double thick and let's go ahead and also take our bottom here and add an extra row along bottom so you should have should have this if you're not using world edit again feel free to pause it but um, I'm using Rolette to make this go a lot faster. All right, next up, let's go to the middle section here and just do a full row of bricks, top to bottom, all the way to here. And then let's do a full row of bricks along this polished. And then we can just send these two up. That is good for now. All right, now looking back in this bottom, bottom right hand corner, we want the checkered pattern, the second checkered wall, to start with a polished back here. And you already know we got to just do our checkered all the way across to cover up all of these gaps so i will see you when i have that done all right there we go i've put all of the checkered behind all of that now in the the back block here we are going to fill in the gaps in all of these spots with iron bars all right there you go when you fill it all in it should look like this so now we're going to come down here and do this bottom tower so let's do a second row of polished blackstone bricks down here then in this spot we're going to raise this a total of uh, 14 this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then we're gonna go diagonal one and diagonal again and connect this to the spot we already had over there let's add an extra one down here then we can add two here and two down like this to make an archway all right let's get the polished blackstone stairs out and do a row right here this should be like uh one two three four five i think it's eight yes then behind this, we can do a row, um, but behind that, right here of the bricks, and then three, leave two, and then three, and then a two by two on either side, and then we need to stack up five in the middle, or five on either side, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then a two by two on top of this, and here, then um, sort of in one, there, and there, so it should look like this, sorry, this is kind of confusing to... <laughs> To explain uh, and then four in the middle here and an extra two right there so you have this shape uh, so if you need to pause it and replicate that shape uh, all right let's go ahead and build a row behind this one and this one completely covering those up and then let's double thick the rest of uh, our little uh, oval shape here now we can do is fill in the the one block back iron bars we're going to fill in the whole thing with iron bars Okay, hey, this looks good. Let's do this face of the wall, which is um, pretty much the same. So let's do our second row here, then stack up 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that. And 14 on the other side, which I'll just drag it all the way up because I already counted, goes there. Uh, then add 2 here, 2 here, then in diagonal like that. And then one more time, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the very tip top here all right let's put our eight uh, eight polished stairs two three four five six seven eight 
and we are going to come in diagonal one, do a full row here. And also, if you want to like just fill in the empty space here, you can, but I'm um, just not going to bother. Uh, so we're three and three. It's the exact same. We're doing we're doing the same face here now on this side, but I'll go over in case you're confused. Two by two, two by two, and then stack up one, two, three, four, um, five, and then a two by two. Do that on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And then our two by two, and then go in one here, in one here, then a full row across and four up there. Sweet. Let's go ahead and double up our full shape right here. And remember, we're going to close it off on the second row on these sides. So it is like that now. Perfect. Now we can fill in this with our iron bars again. There you go. It should look like this. Now up in this corner, we're going to do a diagonal one then diagonal uh, two across here uh, to sort of connect that. Now we can just fill in just sort of like a, a big a big square, I guess just in line with this wall, uh, works just fine with the bricks. Just fill in all of this with our bricks. Now, this row right here, we have this one row, we're going to extend it out one more, and then this will be a total of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to turn two, three, four, five, six, uh, fill in behind that, and then two right here, one here, and then a diagonal down one like that. Now, let's go ahead and pause this. And what we need to do is we need to get lava to be flowing um, behind these, behind both of these iron bars. Um, so the easiest way to do this is I'm just going to leave a spot or to catch the lava at the bottom down here. Uh, it doesn't need to be very specific. And let's drag a row up here. And let's see, just trying to close off so the lava doesn't go absolutely everywhere. All right, if I do this right, I can just uh, drop the lava in here, block off all of these blocks. Like that and now if i fly around you'll see the lava should be just fine flowing underneath the iron bars and it's not going to make a mess out here i just sort of like built a room around it um there you go all right let's go ahead and do this tower uh right now so we, we laid it we laid the outline down here which is six and six so i'm going to make this a total of five blocks tall so this is one two three four five all with the bricks uh, we're just going to do this wall first, and then we'll do the other one. So it's five blocks tall, then a two by two here, and a two by two on this side. Then we're going to build up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. And we're one block taller than this now, which is good. Then we're going to build another two by two right here, and then connect it along the top here. And this should be um, uh, five by six. This is one, two, three, four, five again so fill all of that in and you're left with this shape and we can fill in this middle section now with more iron bars boom it should look like this and we're gonna do the exact same thing on this wall all right same method down here we just need to get lava to flow behind all of the iron bars doesn't really matter how we do it uh so i'm just gonna like close off a little room here okay so i made this now i'm just going to dump lava in the ceiling let it flow down cap that off and there we go we'll have lava behind that tower as well all right i quickly want to do this middle area before we do the the final top section of the wall so what i'm going to do i'm going to put an extra one two three four right here because of course this will all be mirrored onto the other side um, but for the middle at least we'll do four here four blackstone behind it and then for the checkered pattern this should be polished like if we continued the pattern from this wall uh in fact why don't we just do that I guess we can just take this and we'll we'll stack this across an extra two. So you'll see there's our there's our pattern and I'm just doing half of the prison for now. In fact I'll just I'll just keep it for now, why not? Yeah, we'll just do the center. <laughs> keep changing my mind. There you go. There there's the whole checkered pattern. And what we need to do, we need to get glazed terracotta. This is gonna be annoying. I don't know how to make it, but we need to make a specific shape. There you go. You, you somehow need to make this shape with the glazed terracotta right here and i'm just going to copy that pattern uh all the way down there we go we should have these circles that go all the way down the center here and now on these two stripes we can go ahead and continue our checkered pattern down i'm only going to build it like where we absolutely need to see it just warning you guys you'll notice that yes your checkered pattern is still opposite so you can't just mirror the entire thing because the checkered pattern doesn't work like that so we're going to fill in this in-between spot with iron bars all the way up hey there you go you can see that is the middle row 
we've just placed right there. Now we're going to get polished blackstone stairs and on top of all of the polished blackstone we have here, just do a full row of stairs all the way until we hit that tower. Behind all the stairs, we can do a row of the bricks. All right, we have this special row of the chiseled polished blackstone right here. And on top of this, on top of the bricks, I'm going to place two. And because I'm lazy and I don't know how, <laughs> I'm too lazy to try and do the terracotta again. I went ahead and just made a little copy of the pattern. And now what we're going to do with the polished blackstone is find the next spot where there are two, the two stacked up and build a little two by two right there. And then it's again right here. And we're going to stack this up actually six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And do that to all of these, uh, five, six. And, but not this one. This one's only two blocks tall. And now we're going to, right here, we're going to connect it with the polished blackstone stairs. And now what we're going to do in this one little, one block thin sliver. And the checkered pattern right here, if you're looking at the middle wall, uh, there should be one here. And then we can alternate all the way across. There you go. It looks just like this. Now, right here in the middle row... We need more of this weird pattern thing, so I'm going to paste it in again right there. And of course, if you're not using World Edit, you just have to build it, and it's just kind of annoying to work with. So I'm going to stack this, the pattern, all the way to the middle, uh, like this. So I'm going to go 8, that works for now. And let's see, let's go ahead and take this big chunk. We can do a little bit of World Edit magic here. I can copy it here and paste it into this panel um, like that and then let's see i don't know how much of it we can paste on this last one i think it's like one less maybe i think you guys i think you guys get what to do here we just need the that that black terracotta pattern all the way across and there we go yeah that works perfect and we can actually raise this wall all the way up and actually let's do a top row here this is a six by six it's one two three four five six and across and let's bring this down like uh four blocks Ooh, don't release the lava uh there we go uh that that is good enough for now all right now on top of all of this we can do uh right side up polished stairs all the way across connecting these and in the middle we're actually going to stop here actually one one less than that actually get regular polished blackstone and put two right here so this is actually diagonal to the left one from when we did the polished basalt. So this will actually be a, a total of three blocks tall. And what we can do now is put polished blackstone on top of all of these right here. And now we can do more upside down stairs um, connecting all of these. All right, now I'm going to just take this pattern and uh, stack it on top of itself uh, like that. And if you really want, we can stack it one this way as well and put this here just for the symmetry sake. So it's a little easier to tell. Uh, where the symmetry for this thing is and there'll be regular polished blackstone along the top like that and for this pattern we should start with polished again and fill in our little one block gap with more of the repeating pattern all right there we go looks like this that is the front of a prison wall if i've ever seen it now let's build our watchtower up here all right what we need here on top of this let's go ahead and build one more row up uh, with the bricks all the way around Let's go ahead and fill in the top here. And what we need is a 9x9 platform on top of this. Um, so we need to go on this side two blocks out and on this side one block out. And then we can do two rows in front of it like this. That should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, and we can make this 9, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then just add an extra row here and back here. So on in, in the middle of the prison, it only overhangs by one block. On the outer edges of the prison, it overhangs by two blocks. All right, now I can wrap this whole thing in upside down, polished blackstone stairs. All right, one block in, we're going to build up with four um, polished basalt in all four corners. All right, sweet. Now what we can do, we're going to wrap on top of all the stairs with um, polished blackstone walls like this. Now we can do iron bars uh, all the way along, but not in the corners. So don't put the iron bars in the corners. But we put the walls in the corners if that makes sense now we're going to skip a row and do the same thing with the iron bars again not putting them in the corners so you should have a one block gap between these two sometimes it can be a little annoying to place okay that looks good now uh, we're going to build an 11 by 11 polished blackstone brick uh, platform on top of this and fill it all the way in all right now we're just going to go one block in from that and make a nine by nine and fill in the nine by nine then you guessed it we're going to do a five not a 7x7, seven seven, seven, I mean. And we're going to fill in the 7x7. Seven seven. And then while we're at it, also do a 5x5 five five on top of that. And on the very tip top, we're going to do a 5x5 five five 
of the polished blackstone walls wrapping along very tip top and that is one of your watchtower corners right there all right so from here you have a very difficult job you are going to try and replicate everything we did over here onto this side i can offer a little bit of advice if you're trying to world edit it uh, again you cannot mirror world edit the whole thing because the the uh, the checkerboard pattern is actually going to be the the reverse of what it is on this side um but yes you can do i i believe in you <laughs> you got this Copy it onto the other side. Again, if you get really lost or confused, uh, join the Discord. We have questions. So I'm going to copy that, and I'll be right back. All right, that is exactly what this should look like when it is mirrored. Hopefully, it didn't take you too much time. Uh, again, if you have any questions, major things that really didn't work out for you, measurements that you were unclear of, please let me know. I you know, I still do make mistakes. It's, uh, it's a lot to get done. So, yeah, if there were... If there was anything that you got really confused on, any measurements that you're really unsure about in the video that didn't make sense to you, uh, let me know in Discord. But yeah, that is all we have time for today. We did the front room, the interior, and the front wall of the prison. I say that is pretty successful. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!